Hello everyone, this is Herb Spanish, and I am here in Everfall, a little bit south of this Shadow Mine, sorry, Shadow Mine Shrine. And you can see me right here, this Dragon Glory area right here. We're going to go and get some moats here. This is an amazing route to just grab a variety platter of moats, starting with these fire moats here. And you'll also see that there's going to be quite a few of our favorite bugs available to pick up. And what I've noticed is that there is not a lot of people camping these areas. I have no idea why not, which is fantastic. So now that I'm showing you guys this, make sure that you don't take all this stuff from me. I usually like to pick up strawberries here too because they usually go for quite a bit or they're just great for some specific recipes. Here's another one of those blight moths. Again, I'm just right, kind of right in this area here in Everfall. Crud load of strawberries, though, if you wanted to pick all of these up, too. Uh, very easy to go ahead and do that. Boom. All the monsters here are super low level, so you can do this at even at a fairly new build. We're going to come over here and right across the top of this rock, we're going to find another one of these blight moths. Perfect. I'm just going to do a little auto run. Something is popping up here on my stupid screen here. There we go. We'll just go straight ahead here. We've got a blight moth and then we've got a couple of other things to pick up. This is just so ridiculous as far as how easy it is and how plentiful there are of these awesome moats. We're going to come over this way, another blight moth, kind of should be another node right here. I'm not sure if any of you guys are also using um, any external things, but I'm using the New World mini-map here just to make sure that I stay on track. Down here is another one. If you don't end up getting the bug, you end up getting, uh, I think, death modes. Yep, these are death modes, 31 of them, so very important. We like our death modes and our fire modes. But a crud load of, of uh, soul modes that you can get here, too. Let's navigate over this way. I was talking to my buds Uzi and Will about this and saying that this is a significantly um, easy, super easy route to go ahead and do. And I'm just blown away again by that there's no one out here doing this. But now that I'm showing you, I'm sure you guys will come out. I would say that the whole entire route takes probably 15 minutes. Um, maybe even less than that. Okay, I don't know why. I must be accidentally pressing my Windows menu or something. Picking some stuff up. We're going to head a little bit south this way. Make sure we pick up this one over here. We don't want to leave anything out. Oh, yeah. And then also, if you pick up herbs in Everfall, you probably already know this, you have a good chance of getting garlic. So very important to go ahead and pick up these uh, herbs here. See that garlic right there? Garlic is fantastic for a ton of different recipes. So We'll pick up these herbs. Well worth doing that. Another soul sprout here. And then we'll just head a little bit west over here. Maybe not the most efficient route that I just finished taking there. We have a couple of boats over here. 
Let's see. Yep, I still I could see it over there in the distance. Lots of farming that you could do here and hit all of the different chests to be able to get Iron Guardsmen and those kinds of things. Or you could just come in and just get all the boats. This one is weird because it's kind of stuck in a corner. Oh, it's usually right here. Usually you have to stand like right here. I think I got it right away when I was starting this route. Now we're going to head south. Let me show you the map here. We're going to head south down this direction. And we will find some earth boats I think are right in here in this area right here. There are also some death boats that we can get. I think we'll go over there too because we might as well. I see another guy out there. So, not a good sign. That we'll see all of our moats. So, we'll start heading towards the death boats actually. Over here there's a little area full of skeletons. I want to make sure I showed you guys this part too because again, worthwhile especially if they're all up. Might as well go and grab these. You can grab some, looks like some silver there, some iron. I'm gonna just head over this way. And usually uh, some death moat around here. Let me make sure I'm on the right side here. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. It's actually in this in this area right here. There is a couple of nodes that usually appear right in here, but it looks like someone's already got them. No problem. head out this way and see if this guy's over here but usually if you want some death yep here we are there's a one guy right here we'll kind of go around this castle castle temple thing and there's a couple more just kind of sitting for us right here What I like about this route is at the end, we'll actually get a little teleport and we can just go right back to the beginning. And that makes it awesome to be able to efficiently just keep coming back over and over again and grabbing these. The bugs usually take a little bit longer to appear. I think their respawn time is closer to 30 minutes, but these little plants are usually um, only about 10 or 15 minutes. These plants right here, these types that, that give you, you can see I'm getting about 10, uh, 8 to 11 uh, motes per each one of these. Well worth it. And like you just saw, I just got that iron battle metal. Might as well grab the, all of these chests here. You can always just dispose of whatever you don't want, but just getting an iron battle metal or an iron guardsman, well worth it. Cool. There's more actually in this little area. I think upstairs you can go look too, but we'll keep venturing on this way. And we'll see if any of our stuff is up over here. We're going to head towards this little area here, Daybreak Burrow. And then let's see what we've got cooking. Looks like we've got some fire motes up ahead here. Fantastic, they're still up. We head towards an area that I used to farm all the time when I was like a low level up to 20. 
20 with a bunch of pirates. So you're probably familiar with the area. Or you remember it from back in the day, but now nobody comes back this way. Just, just freaking awesome. Grab this. Might as well grab this guy if I can get to there. There we go. We'll head up by the house up here. Oh, here's another one. Perfect. We'll come back down-ish towards this area over here. A good area for herbs, I think, over here too. A couple carrots. Yep, there should be some herbs over here. Yep. And remember the herbs are fantastic and never fall just because of the garlic. This guy. We're gonna head towards a little pirate area, and then that's where our respawn point will be at too. Or sorry, our teleport area. Now we're gonna head towards this rock right here. There's some soul motes there. And then we'll kind of backtrack into the little pirate area, grab a ton of water motes, a ton of Fire modes, a little variety plot of everything. I can see that they're up. Right up against this rock here, if you're wondering where the hell I'm at. Here we go. Boom. And all of this just adds up, and it's super easy to do. Very relaxed. You notice that, of course, these are super low level mobs. You don't have to worry about stuff. You want to autopilot here. And just grab each one of these. There's usually a water one right here if it looks like someone's got it, so it's possible that some of our stuff is going to be gone, but I can just kind of show you at least. Oh, it looks like these are up. We'll grab this guy. We've got a little bug up there at the top. Grab him right way quick. We've got this fire moat here. We've got backtrack over here, just kind of behind the corner here. If I can jump over this fence, that'd be awesome. We've got soul right here. And then we'll go beneath the structure here. And make sure we grab all of the moats down below. It's usually a bunch of water crests, those kind of things. I like to grab any provision crates just because, like if you see, I just got salt there, super important item there. There's another soul mode right here, right below. There should be a water crest just kind of hiding right around this corner here, if I can not jam myself into the area. Perfect. There's usually water, or river crest, sorry, on both sides of the river here. I'm going down the left hand side here. I could zigzag across too. You really wanted to get your water moats easy cheesy. And if you're just wanting to sell them, you can do that too. That's a pretty significant amount of money for almost, I mean, this is just not doing hardly anything. Just kind of going around gathering. I'm not sure how much the water moats are going for right now, but I usually like to gather them all no matter what. I think I missed one back there, but that's okay. We have kind of like a weird little island here. Of course, I just grabbed water there. This is what we like to do. And there's two um, 
fire moats like right on this little island here. Blast right through this guy. Incredible how well that uh, dehumidifier works. Yeah. It's it ridiculous. <laughs> This guy here, across the river, or land right in the middle there. Fantastic. We've got another fire over here, and there's one of those uh, nice soul moat rocks up here on the corner. And a couple of more water moats. We're actually headed towards this. Uh, in just a bit, so that we could port right back to the beginning of all this and kind of go and do it again. The only thing I found is that, especially the bugs, take long enough that you'll want to add something to this, unless you're just grabbing each one of these kind of. The bugs are the ones that take the longest, so. You may need to kind of cruise around a couple different times. Actually, at the top of this, this is worth it too. There is a mob up here, kind of a, a early little named boss guy. Yeah, there he is. Worth killing him. And then um, grabbing this guy right here, Soul Spire. We'll just hit the stockpiles just in case. Get some garbagey green stuff. Down here there should be another bug. It's still up. Yep, there he is. A couple of weird wood trees by the uh, where we're exiting. And we'll take a look if they're even there. If not, no big deal. There actually is a couple of other earth spire kind of things beyond this. Um, area kind of over here. I see the weird wood trees are up. Might as well go to the far one first. Since we're headed out this far, we could take a look kind of in that general direction and see if the earth moat guys are there. I think they're called earth spires. Let's look. Something like that. Yep, there's two of them. Earth Crag. We'll grab these two guys here. And then head back towards again. The teleport area there. There should be still that weirdwood tree. Since we killed the kitty, we might as well pick him up. Stupid ram. And we go back to this area, and if we started over, we would go like this. And we would hit this spot back again, the Shadow Man Shrine. And then remember that we're looking in this little area right here to kind of get started again. So you just teleport back to here, start it back over again. Cool. Hopefully that helps. Adiós.